you guys are familiar with Little Red Riding Hood, you know, the girl in the red dress, off to see her grandmother. Well, this game has nothing to do with the damn novel. What the hell? Yeah, this is one of those piggyback carts that require an additional game to circumvent the lockout chip. And well, if you've got yourself a game genie, then you can stack all sorts of shit on top of it. Stupid. Little Red Hood. Not to get it mixed up with the children's novel, is an unlicensed, unfinished, top-down, side-scrolling video game as developed by Joy Van Sachin, published by Hez Interactive, that was unofficially released for the Nintendo Entertainment System in 1989. The game that is loosely based off the novel has the player controlling a young girl, making her way to her grandmother's, and along the way must clear levels by locating several staircases, finding keys, and eating fruit. What the fuck? The game, and especially the piggyback version, is known to be one of the rarest NES games ever made, but for all the wrong reasons. Rumour has it that the game was beyond unfinished and was later released in need for some sweet, sweet cash. Let's check it out. What the fuck is this? There is no doubt that this has to be one of the worst and most expensive NES games ever made. The obvious? Well, the game looks like shit, but that's just the beginning. The first three hours I spent dicking around trying to figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go. Let me make this clear, this game is completely random, and when I say random, I mean complete bullshit. Here's how this piece of crap works. Little Red Hood must locate a stupid staircase that again is completely random. The player is expected to go around the stage collecting bloody fruit from palm trees and locating keys, allowing the exit to appear. Sounds ridiculous? Well it is. One thing you will notice is that Little Red Hood can't kick or attack, which makes the game's cover a fucking lie. So after taking about a bazillion hits, dying over and over again from these shitty enemies, I found that the only weapon in the game is a random white dog that attacks for Little Red Hood. Did I mention that the dog's appearance is frickin' random? The only power-ups for this piece of crap are potions, which do jack shit, and a slingshot that, get this, Little Red Hood throws at the enemies. Mind-boggling. Ignore the fact that there are no big bad wolves in the game either. Just bears. Did the developers even read the novel? The title has a total of 10 recycled stages of difficulty, if you can even call it that. And believe me, you will struggle. I hope you like respawning enemies, because these fuckers come back instantly. And don't get me started on the bloody music. It'll wear thin pretty fast, and every stage has the exact same tune. Kill me. This music is driving me insane. And you know what pressing the start button does? It restarts the tune. What is this? Did I mention the fact that the game tells you absolutely nothing? Makes it kinda hard considering the fact that you will need a certain amount of fruit for those random keys to appear. You'll be running around like a headless chook. Great design developers, Joy Van Sachin, you're a fucking moron. If you're skilled enough, you'll make it to stage 5, which, holy shit, looks a lot different to the previous stages and is set underwater? Don't remember that in the novel, but okay. What's weird is that in a different level, when Little Red Hood touches shallow water, yeah, she instantly dies. Where's the consistency? You might notice there are two different types of bears in this game, black and brown, that instantly kill Little Red Hood. So I spent about an hour trying to kill these assholes, and found out, well, you can't, because these bears are invincible, so don't even bother. Again, why is there so many bears anyways? This isn't Goldilocks. Apart from the developers taking heavy inspiration from Mario Brothers, there's really not much I can say about the gameplay. I've spent the last six hours kicking palm trees and waiting for fucking staircases. So after completing the 10 stages of difficulty, the player is left with the game's end screen, which also looks like shit, and says, Oh my little red hood, thank you for your coming. <laughs> Garbage! This, without a doubt, is the worst NES game that has ever existed. There is nothing going for this piece of crap whatsoever. The game sucks, I hate it, and it can burn in hell.